Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball. Four box, pick your team number three, which sold out before number two for, for some odd reason. So first to fill, first to break. I still think there's like six or seven teams left in, uh, in pick your team two, which we could get into tonight if you want to. So here's pick your team three right there. And if you bought at least two teams, then you got a shot at some break credit. And no vet commons right here. Big thanks to, oh, it's a big thanks to all these folks. It's a pick your team. Did I print it out? I did. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Pick your team three. Appreciate it. Thanks for spending a bit of your uh, Friday with us, too. All right, now let's figure out which four boxes we're going to do. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's one. So we're going to do the left side right there. So this, we will now say for pick your team number two. There you go. Pick your team number two, which we can do tonight if you want. And then at the end of the break, we'll do all the randomizing. For the, uh, for the break credit. All right, good luck everyone. Looks like Deion Sanders' son, who is a quarterback, commits to Jackson State. He was recruited by his dad, Deion Sanders, who's the coach of Jackson State. All right, good luck, everybody. I think I should have the, the 2020 MLB draft class. I should have that list. Uh, for guys like this, 23 out of 99, Carson Tucker. He is the 23rd overall pick from Point or from Mountain Point High School, Arizona. He's a shortstop for Cleveland. Are we guessing what? Oh uh, no, I don't. I mean, it could be a guess who if you want to. Did you know where Carson Tucker went? Yeah. This is this is contenders this is baseball. We're giving away a million dollars, five hundred dollars in this. I don't know. I've not memorized the twenty twenty draft class. Carson Fulmer? No, not Carson Fulmer. I know where he goes. Where? Carson Tucker. He goes to Chicago White Sox. What about Austin Martin from Vanderbilt? He's a top five pick. Let's see if Nick knows. 39 out of 75, top five pick out of Vanderbilt. Shortstop, went to a blue team. Blue Jays. P.S., I think, yeah, we were right, Blue Jays. I think you need 50 count slider boxes. I feel like we're out of those. Yeah, we're out of those. Yeah, for stuff like that. I've got one right here. Is it worth Freddie Freeman? Is it worth Freddie Freeman? Yeah, he might be MVP. I thought you liked Mookie Betts. I mean, I'd rather, I mean, I, if I'm a betting man, I pick Freddie Freeman. My heart picks Mookie Betts. There's a, uh, you don't think Freddie Freeman's going to win? No, I think Mookie can win. Oh, well, that would be, be fantastic. Maybe I'm just doing reverse psychology. Arturo with the Phillies gets the Nick... Maton. Or Madden. 
don't know. Then we got Matt Tice for the Angels. On-card autograph, 39 out of 99. That goes to Jeff Goldberg and the Halos. Right. <laughs> Austin Martin, also a fancy car. You think Austin Martin, like with his first, like maybe maybe not his minor league pay. I don't know. He might have gotten a decent signing bonus. Is this... Is he going to be... Uh, Driving an Aston Martin? Wow, he could. He signed on July 8th and received a $7 million signing bonus. You could put you could put a little bit of that into, you know, definitely a, maybe, a, maybe some real estate, maybe a house. Maybe treat yourself to a nice car. Got to get a good show car right there. DJ, San, uh, DJ, San, DJ LeMahieu to 149. For the Yankees. And Kevin Ginkle, rookie roundup autograph for the Snakes. Robert Primrose with that. Matt Medlin will get that Yankee. By the way, these are all purple parallels. They will ship, in case you were wondering. So those are not considered common. They are uncommon. And we got Dre Jameson. Hmm, Jameson. Prim with the snakes. Although maybe you don't want to drive around an Aston Martin. Maybe that'd be too flashy for some of the, I don't know. He's a Blue Jay, right? I don't know where their single or double A teams are. Anyway. Maybe, maybe save that Aston Martin until uh, until the big leagues as like motivation. I'll get that when I make my big league debut. Focus on baseball now. Really? Wow. <laughs> TJ saying back when Yadier Alvarez was in Tulsa. He was driving around in a McLaren. So I guess, I guess for him, he's like, yeah, I could, I could, I could flash, be flashing my McLaren in the streets of Tulsa. Seventy-four and ninety-nine for the White Sox. Matt Lieber getting the uh, Norhe Vera. I'm gonna go with that. Seventy-four out of ninety-nine. I don't know how to spell Mugad. I don't know if there's an, I think maybe an A at the end of that. R-A-N, R-I-N, not sure. I guess since I'm a very long way from being able to afford one of those, I just don't even bother looking it up. Uh, Eugenio Suarez, five out of 18 on that one for the red legs. That'll be for Anthony. And we got Tres Barrera for TJ and the Nats, the rookie uh, catcher, rookie backstop. Nick saying, let's get the last one of these contenders locked in. Yeah, why not? We got Logan Allen for the Tribe. 15 out of 15. Nice. Got a nice plaid or like Argyle pattern in the background. Arturo with the Cleveland Indians. And the next autograph is Sheldon Yusey. 
rookie ticket on card autograph for the Oakland A's. The Athletics, TJ with the A's. Both teams hitting for Tej. Maybe some break credit too. Be a nice little trifecta. And we got a cracked ice, Randy Johnson, 9 out of 23. We pulled one of those in the last four boxes. That'll be going to Prim. There is Adrian Morejon in that red foil right there. 37 out of 75 on card autograph for the live armed youngster. Anthony. There's Eddie Diaz for Colorado. Rocks. That's going to go to Jeff, Jeff Goldberg. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, traditionally Contenders does have a lot of autos. Football's the same way, I think. I think football has like five or six autos a box. And maybe Contenders basketball doesn't have as many. I think there's just fewer, fewer people in the basketball pool. But obviously baseball has a ton of professionals in the, in the, in, that they can select from in football too. Yeah, absolutely. TJ's right. It's a good product to stash away for a few years. And then... Uh, you know, see see when, and then check in on them in a few years, see if they end up being big names. I think the hobby leans, uh, leans hitters. There's Josh Donaldson to 149. But, still have some pitchers, could still have some value too. I think they're definitely, it will be a little bit of a, an ace pitcher sort of vacuum once the likes of uh, that goes to Anthony by the way. once the Kershaw is getting older Scherzer's getting older Verlander's getting older you know so that generation which is kind of crazy to think about but that that sort of generation of pitcher will be gone now and who will fill that vacuum will it be the guys like Walker Bueller maybe even Casey Mize there's Nico Horner for the Cubs. Ryan Harold, Ryan H with the Cubbies. And we got Patrick Sandoval, rookie ticket autograph for the Halos. That's going to go to Jeff, Jeff G. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. to 99. Feels like a redemption, yeah. There's a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? I actually don't know who the redemptions are. And there are a few players that don't like to sign. Could it be that one player that we're thinking about? Maybe. Notorious non-signer. There's Maurizio Dubon. Rookie autograph for the Giants. Anthony. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, TJ and Nick. He is a notorious non-signer. There's Jake Rogers for the Tigers. Jake, 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 Jake. That goes to Ryan Harold. All right, it's going to be, bam, focus, Bo Bichette. Hmm. 
Rookie ticket autograph, Bo Bichette. That'll be for the Bluebirds. That's going to go to Matt Lieber. It's one of his last spot mojo teams. And you get a free top loader out of it. All right, final box. Good luck. That Blue Jays team could be pretty scary really quick. Guys like Bo Bichette, Kevin Biggio, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Tunjin Roo on top of that rotation, Nate Pearson can throw pretty hard. I think we were pulling some of his Bowman draft cards just a few years back. A couple players here and there, and they could be ahead of schedule. You're right, yeah. Vlad did lose about 30 pounds. I saw that. Hopefully we'll see the same news for Zion, maybe. There's Brian Anderson to 99. Although, I don't, I don't know. To Zion? 30 pounds is kind of a lot. What, what, was, what, was, what kind of weight was Vlad carrying? Probably more weight than Zion. All right, there's Willie Castro, Detroit. Uh, that goes to Ryan Harold. I think Zion may be like 10 or 15 pounds on that Zion. Maybe just trim up a little bit. Maybe Vlad Jr. did have to lose a lot of weight. I don't know. It's... I think that's his height weight, right? 6'2", 250? So if he's 6'2", 220? That's pretty lean. There's Josh Fleming for the Tampa Bay Rays. That goes to Ryan Harold. Although, it, I guess it just depends on the person. Sometimes you can lose a significant amount of weight and then you, you play differently. I don't know. It just feels differently. If you can play with carrying a certain kind of weight, you get used to, you know, being with, at that mechanic. I don't know. Baseball is different than some of the other sports. Angels, Jeff Goldberg, like, you know, Tony Gwynn carried some extra LBSs, and he, he did just fine. He was just fine. EA, what's going on? Yes. Check out our uh, Twitter feed. Out of 23, Cracked Ice, Taylor Trammell, potential Cracked Ice, and another redemption. Any guesses? For bragging rights, maybe maybe some of you will double down on your guesses from the previous redemption. There's Maurizio Dubon, rookie autograph for the Gigantes, Anthony. Right, and then Ryan Harold pointing out the polar bear, he just stays strong. Just doing squats and drinking chocolate milk. The old, the, old, the old fashioned way. There's Jake Rogers. Rookie ticket autograph for the Tigers. Another one for Ryan H. Pick the right teams in this one, Ryan. Nice. Got a shot at that break credit, too. All right. Redemption. Redemption. Redemption is gonna be focus. Bobachette again? All right, two for you, Matt Lieber. All right. It happens. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now, you know what's great about this break? A lot of great hits and a chance to win some break credit. So if you bought at least two teams, you'll get the entries. You know how this works by now. Two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. The top five 
will get $100 of break credit. So let's get those entries squared away. Let's sort by column A. So Anthony, you've got four teams right here. That's two entries. Arturo with four teams, that's two entries. Daniel with two teams, that's one entry. Six teams for Jeff, that's three entries. Matt with four teams, that's two entries. Matt Medlin with two teams, that's an entry. Prim with two teams, that's an entry. Ryan H, four teams, two entries. And TJ with two teams, that's an entry. Let's grab everyone's names here. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. One and a five, six times. Top five after six, we'll get money. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time after six. Top five right here. There you go. Congrats. Two, let's get everyone's names in here. This group right here, you are winners. Jeff Goldberg, $100 of break credit. Matt Lieber, 100 bucks of break credit. TJ, 100 bucks of break credit. Jeff another hundred bucks of break credit and Ryan Harold, hundred bucks of break credit. Um, that'll be sent to you uh, in an automated email. It'll, it'll say gift card, I think, but you're going to use that for break credit. Check your spam folders. If you don't see it and you don't have to spend it all in one place, you can spread it out or spend it all in one place. It's yours. It's up to you. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.